Welcome to a new episode with ideas, insights and inspiration for your life, work and love. You are listening to the Constellateur podcast with your host Tom Wittig. Yesterday I had a chat in my favorite cafe here down the street. And at the end I said, oh, by the way, good news. This is a long weekend. It is the holiday of Pentecost. And then we were wondering, what is this holiday all about? What's the background? And we couldn't really remember it, to be honest. So we had to reflect a little bit and actually do a little bit of research. And as it turns out, on this day of Pentecost, many people and communities around the world are remembering and celebrating the arrival of the Spirit. So regardless of your beliefs and practices and whether you are celebrating this holiday or not, let us take a moment to reflect on this question. How does the Spirit come into our relationships? This holiday has a profound uh, symbolism of unity and communication and the outpouring of a divine inspiration. It offers us a powerful lens through which we can explore the dynamics of our connections with others. Just as the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples, igniting their hearts and enabling them to transcend barriers and languages and cultures, the Spirit has the potential to infuse our relationships with a transformative energy, deepening understanding and fostering a profound connection. In the realm of relationships, the Spirit enters as a catalyst, breathing life into the spaces between the individuals and communities. And oftentimes, we see this also in organizations and businesses. When there is a spirit in the organization, it is breathing life into the white spaces of the organizational chart. And so it manifests as a force of compassion, empathy, and an energy, bridging the gaps that separated us. With opening ourselves to this spirit and energy, we create a kind of sacred place where genuine connections can flourish. It is through this energy that we are able to truly see and understand one another and going beyond the superficial differences or profound differences and recognizing the inherent dignity and worth within each person. It is a catalyst in a relationship and within a group to look towards something which is bigger than all the individuals combined in this group. So this spirit also reveals its presence in the form of a creative and inclusive communication and often a momentum which unfolds, a, a very um, interesting dynamic that we often see in groups, in organizations, in communities. And from a practical perspective, here are three phases which you might try out and uh, set the tone to enable the arrival of this favorable energy in the relationships, in the groups, and uh, to enable the dynamics that can unfold from this. So you might want to say, for example, at the beginning of a discussion or a meeting or a workshop, let's embark on a journey of shared stories and perspectives you know, and leave it open from there and unfold from there. Or Together, let's, let's explore uncharted territories and possibilities. So this is already opening the discussion and opening the field for a different kind of communication. Or you can say and remind of the, the ground rules and the values that you are trying to evolve and foster in your group, in your community. For example, by saying, in this space, let's practice active listening 
and a compassionate dialogue. So as we are celebrating this holiday, let us reflect upon the profound significance of this spirit and this energy in our relationships and communities. May we open ourselves to its presence, allowing it to infuse our connections with authenticity, understanding and its transformative power. And just as the disciples were forever changed by the arrival of the Holy Spirit, may our relationships and communities also be empowered with this spirit and energy. In this sense, I wish you a good renewal and as always, good luck. Thank you for listening. I hope you found interest and insights for yourself and for others. Please share this episode with your family, friends and colleagues.